patient complaints, heavy menstrual bleeding and secondary dysmenorrhea. Before you think about a diagnosis, are you sure about your definitions and what they mean? If not, don't worry. I will facilitate you. I am Mojita Fernando, a lecturer and a medical content creator. Let's go to the topic. So today's topic will be abnormal uterine bleeding. International Federation of Gynecology and Obstetricians has developed two systems to define abnormal uterine bleeding. So system one is to define the normal parameters of menstrual cycle. And system two is known as the palm coin system. Heavy menstrual bleeding is the most common clinical presentation of abnormal uterine bleeding. So what is the difference between spotting and bleeding? Spotting, that means any bloody vaginal discharge that is not large enough to require sanitary protection, such as pads or tampons. On the other hand, bleeding requires sanitary protection. The average interval between a menstrual cycle is 28 days. It can range from 24 to 38 days. The amount should be less than 80 milliliters. FIGO system 1, it defines the normal parameters of menstrual bleeding. The parameters are frequency, duration, and flow of volume, and regularity. In FIGO system 1, we no longer use these terms. Dysfunctional uterine bleeding, menorrhagia, metrorrhagia, and oligomenorrhea. We have new terms. For example, menorrhagia we use the term heavy menstrual bleeding and metrorrhagia intermenstrual bleeding and oligomenorrhea comes under irregular bleeding FICO system 2 also known as the palm coin the structural causes p stands for polyp a stands for adenomyosis l stands for leomyoma or the fibroids m stands for malignancy and hyperplasia in the coin side you have the non-structural entities those are c stands for coagulopathy o stands for ovulatory dysfunction e stands for endometrial causes i stands for iatrogenic and n stands for not yet classified